So uh, another day, another adventure. Uh, going to IKEA today. This is IKEA Eshtaol. It's located a little bit outside of Jerusalem. I'm um, about 40 minutes. So it's formerly the IKEA in Rishon Lezion was our closest IKEA, and this is now the closest one. So there was apparently IKEA we're going to open in Jerusalem itself. For whatever reason, that never happened. So this is the closest one we have now. IKEA in Israel is much like IKEA in the rest of the world. Uh, kind of worshipped as a place of cheap furniture and uh, getting some storage solutions today to try cram more stuff into our uh, tiny Jerusalem apartment. Uh, so, and they also have the cheapest falafel in Israel. To the best of my knowledge, it's five shackles. It's gonna have some of that as well. This is my favorite part of Ikea where they keep all the uh, office supply stuff. So I'm just uh, planning out my next upgrade. I'm not sure Ikea is probably the best place to get a chair, but something like this would be really nice in my, uh, pretty much the same as you'd expect in any Ikea, except that Israel Ikea is definitely notably more expensive than Ikea in many other countries, like everything else in Israel, but uh, at least it's here and they have multiple uh, branches throughout the country. Uh, so far, our uh, IKEA haul is uh, limited to just a few of these uh, sandwich bags, indispensable. We're just getting a little bit of storage stuff mostly on this particular IKEA run, but it's very hard not to run a bit wild throughout the shop, looking at all the kind of cool things. Today is pretty quiet by IKEA standards here. Uh, Thursday is the start of the weekend in Israel, as I mentioned in literally every video. So Thursday night is probably the time to avoid coming to IKEA if you're looking to avoid the crowds. Um, I don't know if this IKEA is busier than the one in Rishon Etzion. I think it's a bit less busy, uh, but this is actually as quiet as I've ever seen it here at the moment. If anybody feels like, say, uh, 2,700 shackles for a uh, king size bed, PayPal link in the description, much appreciated. I don't think these are actually intended for fruit and veg, for strong vegetables, but that's what we're gonna do. So my low fat diet going through tons of produce at the moment. So we're gonna get this guy, or actually no, we're going for this one here. Uh, the Yon Axel for storing that good fruit and veg on its four layers of uh, storage space. It's actually pretty much the first time I'm shooting footage for this YouTube channel where I don't have uh, permission to shoot here. So uh, I just went onto YouTube and I saw these other videos about people doing their shopping in Ikea. So hopefully it's okay. Uh, if this video disappears from YouTube, probably safe to assume that uh, Ikea Israel did not take kindly to my, uh, to my little video making attempt. Like in other uh, countries, Ikea also has a little bit of food here, including this very interesting uh, pear cider. It's uh, I think 0.1%, so it's not alcoholic or barely alcoholic, but I really, really like pear cider. And of course, they have a bunch of stuff here. But the difference being in Israel that generally a lot of stuff is kosher. I'm not sure if all of it's kosher. You usually find, you see here, kosher parv a certification. So uh, you can get some food in Ikea as well. Plant bucket for my uh, tripods and uh, vertical camera accessories, monopod, stuff like that. A couple of things to uh, keep stuff in my office. And uh, that's the majority of what we've got here. So we're now in the showroom. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, storage to my Hillis. So we're gonna get a shelf unit. And uh, that's gonna be about it, I think, for this particular Ikea haul. So I guess on the plus side, it won't be as expensive as usual Ikea trips. Uh, this is the uh, warehouse area over here. Lots and lots of stuff. I'm in the uh, Ivar part of the warehouse. And uh, every time I'm here, I try to pick another one of these shelves for my uh, storage unit in my home office. Um, it's always a battle trying to figure out where to put stuff, but I'm a big fan of the Ivar modular storage unit and look at this absolute glorious heap of shelves for it here. Would not be a trip to Ikea in Israel without buying the mandatory five sack of falafel. That's like one dollar and a little bit more than a dollar. Amazing. We have this little uh, food counter here set up at the end just after you go through the checkout when you've got the munchies and uh, they also have hamburgers other stuff like that but really the star of the show is the five shackle falafel. As for the big question how is the five shackle falafel so unfortunately you can't eat inside Ikea anymore so we're just sitting in our car here uh, outside in the parking lot and uh, it's definitely not <clears throat> gonna win any prizes for the best Ikea in Israel. It's still pretty decent you can see there's some falafel in there 
uh, it's a bit of cabbage, etc. I'm gonna just have a bite now. So for five shekels, can't really complain. This is IKEA's very own falafel in Israel.